Hi, I'm Ander or FBI Open Up, and this is a gear guide on another one of the big four carriers, Centaur. Since some of you guys wanted it, here you go. As always, if you have any other suggestions for some ships that you would like me to cover, be sure to leave a suggestion in the comments below. Without further ado, let's start the gear guide for Centaur. Now moving into the Centaur gear loadouts, let's go and go over some Centaur gear basics. Centaur is classified as a light carrier, as you can see by the CVL in the top left corner, but she does not follow the usual setup of neither a carrier or a light carrier. A carrier would normally have one of each plane, as you can see from here you over here, but over here back to Centaur, she has two fighters and a torpedo bomber. This means that she has no dive bombers, but she can easily make up the damage with her ridiculous DPS from her red skill, as well as the extremely high torpedo efficiency at 140%. Now most light carriers would switch out their third plane over here for an anti-air gun, as you can tell by someone like Ryuho over here with the anti-air gun. Now this will mean that she will have a different build compared to a traditional carrier and light carrier. Her builds are generally focused around getting her yellow skill, airspace dominance, out before the other backlines. So basically you would want a pretty fast kind of airstrike so that her skill can trigger first and then the rest of the backline will get buffed by this yellow skill. It will normally come naturally due to Centaur's double fighter setup which will usually launch an airstrike before the others. Moving on to the general all-purpose build that you really can't go wrong with, you would want in the first slot your stronger fighter as it has 5% more efficiency than the second slot. The best plane for this would be the F4U Corsair Pirate Squadron, as you would be able to do damage with its bombs, and also it has the fastest launch time, while also having that extra anti-air skill. You can buy that for 800 core in the core data shop right now. One of you guys mentioned whether or not the skill would stack if you put two of the exact same plane on. I am pretty sure it does not stack, but someone can correct me in the comments if they know for a fact. Now the next best in slot is the Golden Repu, because it has a launch time of 9.14 seconds, followed by the Seafang with 9.28 seconds, and finally the F6F Hellcat with 9.54 seconds. They all roughly have the same damage output, but they are ranked like this because Centaur wants to have the fastest airstrike out of the whole backline so that they get the yellow skills buffs. And once again, the best budget plane, if you do not have any of these gold planes, is the F4U Corsair, which is dropped from 3-4. Centaur's next fighter slot can follow the exact same order as the first, but do keep in mind if you want to customize your launch times so that Centaur always procs first, you can always switch out this plane for a faster one, such as the Mesher Smith, which has the fastest launch time in the game, which will ensure that your Centaur procs their airstrike first, so that you can get the yellow airspace dominance skill off. In general you will not really have to do this because Centaur's two fighter setup, as I said earlier, will usually go first. Now the torpedo slot is very very important for Centaur because she will get a lot of damage from this. She has a very high efficiency compared to other top tier carriers at 140% when compared to other top tier carriers such as Essex right here who only has 120% and then other people such as Enterprise and Formidable have 125%. This means that you are best putting on the highest damaging torpedo bomber that you have in this slot, which will be either the Golden Barracuda right here, or the TBM Avenger from the past Microlayer Medley event. You can also use the Purple Barracuda for a substitute if you do not have any of these, and you can also use the Golden Swordfish, but I would not really recommend using the Swordfish, because even though the slow stacks with Centaur skill, making it kind of like a budget formidable Zawurdo if both torpedoes do hit an enemy, is not really recommended because you are going to miss out on a good amount of damage and also the launch time is a little bit slower. Now for her auxiliary slots, they are the same as the other carriers. The best in most cases are the gold steam catapult plus the homing beacon. Now, one of you guys did mention that in World 13, it might be better to use double Gold Steam Catapult for that extra 40 aviation. I do agree, if you're finding it hard to sink these ships in World 13, 
consider swapping this homing beacon out for yet another golden steam catapult. Now I know you guys like your other loadouts, so here is our I am speed loadout. Since Centaur wants a fast airstrike, this loadout guarantees the fastest possible plane setup to get your airstrike out as fast as humanly possible. Now here is a quick Q&A session. Question 1, is this ever going to be useful? No, not really. You'd probably miss out on like a ton of damage if you did this. And question 2, would I ever use this? Nah, I'd never use this. In practical terms, you never really need to use this anyway, because she has two fighters that usually make her proc first anyway, but you know what, I feel like covering it. So for fighters, you guys are going to want double Messerschmitt planes, because they are the fastest. Do note, this has a super fast speed, but you will lose out on a ton of damage, because the Messerschmitt has zero bombs, and I'm definitely butchering the pronunciation of Messerschmitt, but you know what, I don't care. It has 0 DPS, it has no bombs, so you are going to have significantly less damage. Moving on, for the Torpedo Bomber, steal that Fairy Albacore from Formidable, because it's the fastest, and you want speed. This will also mean you are losing an incredible amount of damage once again, because the Golden Barracuda is better in every way compared to this plane, except for the speed. But we don't care, because we only care about speed and how fast it is. Now finally, the aux gears can be anything you want, just make sure you get that homing beacon for the extra speed. Yeah, please guys, don't use the IM speed loadout, it's just a meme if you couldn't tell already. Yeah. Now unlike the other video, I'm not going to showcase the IM speed loadout, but I will definitely showcase Centaur's normal loadout to showcase her skills and build in battle. So in order to do this, we are just going to have to do a nice quick battle of 12-4. I'll just show you guys the highlights so that I don't waste too much of your time. Here is the first battle. Now as you can see the airstrike will go off before Sylvetskaya Rosia does, so that she gets buffed by the airspace dominance from Centaur's skill, and she will do more damage. Now Centaur also has slowing torpedoes from the first skill that will slow down the rest of the enemies so that the battleship salvos can hit easier. And the diagonal pattern of the torpedoes is actually better than straight because it gives more space to go and end up hitting an enemy, as you can see right there. So yeah, go and see how much damage she did. Okay, she got MVP. Oh wow, okay. That's a pretty overpowered carrier, don't you think? Now here's about to be battle number two. As you can see, Airstrike proc, and then Sovetskaya procs. Phew. I just gotta say, Sovetskaya's barrage looks so cool, with all those icicles falling out the sky. The Russian ships are just so good. All of them. So Sovetskaya, Shapayev, and Tashkent. Can't believe they're all tier 0. That's pretty insane. Let's check the damage once again. Oh my. Now for the third battle, let's go and give some love to the subs. Let's go and see if these submarines can go and steal MVP from Centaur for once. Alright, so far looking so good. Now, can they go and finish the battle before Centaur procs? Oh my god, they actually did, what the heck. Yeah, submarines are actually overpowered in this game. If you have the good ones. Okay, which submarine is it going to be? Okay, see so yes, as it's none of the main fleet or the vanguards. U47, congratulations! So you just won, and you beat out the entire fleet. Great job! You know what, that was pretty fun to watch, so for Battle 4, guess what, the submarines are coming back. It's just going to be a battle between Centaur and the submarines now. Whoever is going to go and do more damage wins. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Oh god, it looks like the submarines won again. <laughs> oh my gosh, but by how much? Oh no, there's no MVP again. Hey, U47, congratulations, you won again. Holy cow, <laughs> submarines are just so good. Okay, for Battle 5, I decided to go back to just Centaur and then Sovetskaya. Mostly because I ran out of um, ships to go and be in my submarine's hunting range, so I physically can't do it anymore. So, let's go and see who wins, Centaur or Sovetskaya for MVP. The suspense is killing me. Oh, Centaur won again. Oh, that was actually kind of close this time.
Now here's battle 6 real quick. Centaur procs. She gives that nice airspace dominance buff to Sovetskaya. Sovetskaya procs. Sovetskaya shoots. And she scores. Nice. Quick battle real quick. Check out the results. Centaur wins. No big surprise. Moving on to the boss battle. Now for the boss battle, I'm going to be using my other fleet. Mostly because they have that nice slow from Monarch Slow and Formidable Slow. And this is 12-4, so this is the other exception I was talking about in the Formidable video. So in this one, you are going to want to slow down Maya as much as possible and shoot your battleship salvos whenever Maya crosses with uh, Chokai in the middle. So right after I kill Haruna real quick, let's go and start. So Maya is going to circle in a figure 8 formation, so right now, since she's about to go next to Chokai, shoot the barrage, use formidable skill, stop them, then shoot your other barrage, so that all your ship, la ship shots land right next to each other, and now Maya's already dead. Yep, that was actually a perfect um, scenario. I uh, couldn't have asked better. Do that, shoot a torpedo at her face, throw your monarch thing at her, and wow, monarch skill procced again. Oh, that was actually like the perfect boss battle showcase. Wow. Let's see who got MVP. And let's see if we got Chokai, first of all. Aww. One day I will get good luck for recording. Monarch got MVP. And she did some really nice damage. Now with that battle showcase finished, that will conclude my gear guide for Centaur. As always, if you found this information helpful, consider dropping a like and subscribing. Don't forget to press the notification bell for my future uploads as well. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions that need to be answered, and I will try my best to reply. If you have any other ship suggestions, please leave a comment and I'll consider adding them to my list. With all that being said, that's all I have to say for this video, so have a good rest of your day, and wow, whoops. And I'll see you guys in the next one, bye. You're never going to know which one this is. <laughs>